Hello and welcome to Wednesday's maths lesson. So Mr. Lake, yesterday we looked at two dimensional shapes, 2D shapes, yep. and they were completely flat. Flat, pick them up. Okay, now today we're gonna to be looking at 3D shapes, so three dimensional, which excitingly means we can- Pick them up. We can pick them up, hold them, feel them, okay? 2D flat, 3D fat, that's how I remember it. I will never forget now, Mr. Lake. You've inspired me. Right, next slide, please. So, here we have this shape, okay? Now, I have this shape here. Yep. Because we can hold it today. We can pick it up and feel it. Yeah, okay. So, obviously, I've drawn a picture. We've got a picture there, but yep. we can actually hold this. So, Mr. Lake, what is the name of this shape? It's a cuboid. It's a cuboid. So, can I tell you why, Mr. Fenn? Yep. It's not a cube because... Like how a rectangle is stretched out, this is as well, those edges are longer. So this is a cuboid. Yes, and actually we'll just compare them here. Yes, this would be a cube, yep. which is like, like a dice. Yeah, you've got squares here, but this is a cuboid. But I guess a lot a lot of the time people sort of call this the rectangle, don't they? Or yeah. this the square, but because it's 3D, it's cuboid. Yeah. Okay. Now, could you write cuboid for us up there, please? Town in Lake. Okay. Because this is what you're going to be doing today. Spell cuboid. Cuboid. So, Mr. Lake, could we now let's describe the properties of this cuboid? So, let's first of all, I want to talk about how many vertices there are. Now, remember from yesterday's vertices just means corners. Yeah. Okay. So, I, luckily, I can actually hold this. That makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? It does. You can feel yeah. this. Vertices, remember, they're like the sharp bits, aren't they? Because they're going to be today where the two edges meet, which creates a sharp bit. On yeah, it. two or three edges, or yeah. more, yeah, where the edges meet, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is actually going to use this cuboid. Wow, it's a real life cuboid. So these shapes are everywhere, okay? Are. So I'm going, to, I'm going to get rid of this plastic one and just use this box of tissues, but it is a cuboid, okay? Yep. So the vertices, we've got, okay, one, one. two three, four. Four on this side, and then so five, six, seven, eight. Four on this side, four on this side, eight corners, eight vertices. Yeah. Okay. Right, now, let's talk about the faces. The faces. So the faces are these bits here. Okay. So you can see the faces there. So let's try and count these up. So we've got one, two, three, and then I've got four on the other side. Yeah, I'm just and grabbing. Then I'm, yeah? Because the way I like to remember this, right, the faces. I feel I'm like you're gonna draw on my box of tissues. I am gonna draw on Go my on box there. of yeah. tissues. I'm just drawing a little face here. There's a face, okay? Yeah. The face of a 3D shape is the 2D bits of it that make up the shape, okay? So if you ignore the rest of it, this face here is a rectangle, isn't it, okay? Yes, yeah. And they're all, here, rectangles, aren't they? All of those bits, the flat bits are the faces, okay? So the flat bits on a 3D shape are the faces. There you go. Yeah, okay, so we've got... It's all yours now. <laughs> so let's, let's count around here systematically. So we've got one, two, three, four. Yep. Five, six. Yep. So we have six faces. And we've actually gone on to the next um, part. The shape of the faces, well, they are rectangles. Yep. So, mm -hmm. rectangular faces. You could, I don't know, you just wrote rectangular faces. Yep. Yeah, let's put six rectangular faces. Rectangular. Okay. Now, the edges. Yes. So, the edges of these bits joining up there. So, we've got one, two, three, four. Yep. Four on this side. So, yep. Got to be really careful when you do this because yeah. it can be really easy to count them. It's again. hard to count, yeah. Five. I mean, if you're using something you can that you're lucky enough to be able to draw on, obviously don't start drawing on like the TV or things like that. But it might be helpful to sort of mark them off. So look, one, two, three, four, and then look, I know I've done this one when I come around yeah. to you. Five, six, seven, but then I've done that one, so eight. 9, 10, and then I've done both these here, so 11, 12. There so there's go. 12 edges. 
Great, yeah. And it, yeah, it's easy to get in a muddle, count the edges. I think it's the hardest thing to count the edges. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just try. Okay, so 12 edges. Okay, fantastic. Now we're going to move on to this shape. This shape is called a cylinder. Okay, and where might we see a cylinder in our house, Mr. Lake? A can of Coke or can, can of other drinks are available. Um, yeah, can yeah. of beans. Can of beans, yeah, baked beer. I thought can of Coke, you thought can of beans. Yeah. Soup. Soup, idea. Any, yeah. any can, yeah. Okay, right, well, let's look at this. So, um, let's think about the edges. Yes. How many edges has it got, Mr. Lake? Well, I would say two. Yeah, and it's got an edge here, one, two. Yep, two edges. Okay. Okay, now I'm looking at this, the corner bits, the vertices, there's no vertices, are there? No, there's, there's no, no sharp bit. Yeah. The, the edges don't meet, do they? There's two edges, but they never meet, yeah. so there's no corners. So I think no zero vertices, zero corners. Okay, so now we just need to look at the faces. So yeah. how many faces would you say, Mr. Lake? Well, we got these two, cir one circle here, one circle here, two circle ones. And then we have also got this as well. We could we could call this a face. It's sort of a curved face, like yeah. how a circle has a got sort of two flat circular, got two circular faces in one. Sort of curved mm. one, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so should, should we, well, let's, let's particularly look at the shapes of the faces we've got. So we've yep. got at least, we've definitely got two circular faces, haven't we? Yep, two circular faces. And then we've got another face here. Plus one. I'm just going to do a curved face. Yeah. It's not flat, it curves yeah. around. There we go. Right, so now we move on to this shape that looks like a tent. It is called a triangular prism. Interesting you go for tent. I go for Toblerone with that one. Yeah. That's a definite Toblerone to me. Shows the difference in our uh, in <laughs> Mr. Ben likes hobbies. camping, Mr. Le <laughs> likes Toblerone. <laughs> okay, so we've got a triangular, not a triangular, yes, a triangular prism, okay? So on our triangular prism, let's count up the vertices. So yeah. the corner bits, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six vertices. Okay, um, while you're writing that, I'll go into the next bit. Now the edges, we've got, so we've got edges here, got some one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine edges. It is a bit complicated to, to count the edges. Now, if we look at the faces, mm. I think there's one, two, three, yeah, now those ones are like squares, they're yeah. rectangles depending on. Yeah, so I think it also we've got one, two, three, four, we've got five faces all together. Yep. But here you've got a triangle, a triangular face, you've got two triangles, haven't you? Two triangular faces. And then on this, this does look like a square. I mean, I think often, they would be rectangle, rectangles there. Square. Certainly a toba, this one here, they would be rectangles, yeah. wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, yeah. square faces, rectangular faces. Okay, next one. Okay, now here we have a shape called a square-based pyramid. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, it's called a square-based pyramid because it's not the only type of pyramid you get, right? So, there are other types of pyramids. Yeah, it's because the, the, the base of it the is bottom. a square. Okay, so we've got a square face there. So we yep. could even write that, we've got, you know, one square face. One square face, yep. Um, and then up along, around here, these faces, they're triangles, aren't they? Yep. So we've got four triangular faces. Is that that one? <laughs> triangular faces. Yep. So okay. five in total. Yeah, five faces in total. Five Okay, and, and you know, I, I think we need to write everything down. And then we would have, um, we've got our vertices here, the corner bits, we've got our edges here. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so let's move on. Um, so this shape is a, the pro 
proper name for this is a sphere. Okay, so here is our sphere. But it's the same as a ball. Balls are spheres, okay? Now our sphere, Mr. Lake, how many corners do you think it has? No. No corners. Can you imagine trying to play football with a shape that has yeah. sharp? Yeah. Okay. How many edges does it have? No. No. Okay. How many faces does it have? I feel a debate coming here. You could, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, you could have an argument about this. I would say one. One, mm. one sort of curved yeah. face. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's move on. Okay. So what we're going to ask you to do today, you'll have this in your resources pack uh, with the picture of a shape and the name of the shape. Um, what I'd like you to do is, just like Mr. Laker has been doing there, you, I mean, you can try and draw the shape if you know how to, that's a little bit tricky, or you could just write the name of the shape and then write down uh, the properties of that shape, so then the faces, the edges, the vertices, okay? And I'd like you to do at least um, four shapes, okay? And you can do more if you like. So, have fun. Brilliant.